I guess if you're going to go pro with the Micro Four Thirds system, then you're really going to have to step up from this wonderful little baby standard zoom to something more like this. The lens is metal, weather sealed, weighs only 305 grams. It's got a 35 mil equivalent of 24 to 70, f2.8 to f22 throughout. Manual focus ring, not too bad. And of course the zoom is there. You can see the zoom itself does create a bit more extension. <laughs> It's not internal basically, the autofocus is internal, we'll mention that a little bit later on. And we also have a very handy minimum focus distance of 0.25 centimeters and worthy of note, and not too costly, 58 mil filter thread size. Let's check out some more straight out the camera stills and maybe a couple of video clips. I'm not sure if I'm really ready to move over to Micro Four Thirds for my pro work. In any way, I'm very happy with Fujifilm for my pro work. But this lens turned out to actually be <laughs> really nice, as I expected. It really wouldn't be a hassle to shoot this alongside the 35 to 100 f2.8 that we looked at before. And that could be a real nice combo for pro work with this system. The lens feels solid. I've got that advantage of the dual IS with the Panasonic body that I own. So you can easily handheld this at fairly low shutter speeds if need be. Yes, the lens is sharp, wide open throughout the range. Naturally, as you go past f16 in this case, it can weaken a little bit. But for me, my kind of work, not an issue. At the wide end, there is some minor chromatic aberrations, but zoom in and that disappears. And it's pretty much the same situation when it comes to distortion and vignetting. So let's just leave that there. As with the other Panasonic lens, the autofocus is swift. It's accurate. Maybe the only weak point for you would be the fact that there's no manual focus switch. So if you're into flicking between the two different modes, you're going to have to do that via the body. But I'm more than happy with it as it is. The image quality naturally is a winner. There's nothing magical about it. And I think that's usually the case with a standard pro zoom. This is a workhorse of a lens, even down to that solid metallic build, the weather ceiling, it just works and gets the job done.
Of course, we did try the Olympus 12-40 to F2.8 Pro, which other than the previous version may be your alternative. For me, I'd go with this version purely because I'm using the Panasonic body and I get that dual iOS. So for whatever the Olympus version offers, this one is fine for me, but they both do a fantastic job. They're both roughly the same price as far as I remember. <laughs> yeah. This one I'll go with, the Olympus, ah, you know, I'll go with, but I'm going to choose this over the two, or the three, because this one is just a little bit better than the previous model. But if you can get the previous model at a bargain price, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Big thanks to Wex in Birmingham for the loaner. Once again, get down there if you can, get your hands on it, tell them I sent you, and share the love. Make sure to subscribe or let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you there.